What's up, Wagwan guys? What is up, you guys? Big up, big up. First of all, shout out to you guys to get us to a thousand subscribers. Woo! <laughs> yes, so thank you guys for getting us to 1,000 subscribers. Woo! Woo, woo! So, we are back with another video. And in this video, we're answering some of your questions. Let's go. Let's do this, baby. So welcome back to our channel. Allow us to reintroduce ourselves. My name is, just kidding. I'm a Jay-Z fan. <laughs> I'm Tanya and- I'm Kimar. And we are- The, the Bonix. So welcome back to our channel. If this is your first time joining us, thank you and welcome. Hit the subscribe button. Come on back and keep coming back. <laughs> If you are a returning viewer, thank you for watching. We always appreciate your views. And in this video, we are reintroducing ourselves, kinda. Yeah. We're answering some of your questions that you have asked in the comments, as well as on our social media pages, and we are going to jump right into it. Let's you do ready? It. Yeah, baby. I'm All ready. right. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Okay. So the first question is, what made us want to start a YouTube channel? Um, basically, I always want to start one, you know what I mean? I mm -hmm. always like the camera, and I think we have a beautiful life story, you know what I mean? We do. Yeah, we do. And friends always telling me, to start one because me and my wife get along so good, you know what I mean? So yeah. I have always wanted to start a YouTube channel because of those reasons. Yeah, when Kimar even first came to me about starting a YouTube channel, I was like, what? Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody got time for that. But now you loved it. Baby. I love it. I love yeah. it. And I love you guys. Definitely. <laughs> most definitely. Yeah, so Big now... Big up to Cello Bello. Cello Bello, she <laughs> said... If my man, my future husband ain't saying my name like that, I don't even want him. Like Just throw really? the whole relationship away. <laughs> <laughs> I see you, girl. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, um, now that I'm into it and, you know, I like it. I like doing the videos and I even started like doing a little bit of research because I was like, you know, what's going to make our channel different from somebody else's? Like, why would people want to watch us, you know? Because there are a lot of age gap relationships on YouTube. But what sets us apart is that um, most of the age gap relationships that you see on YouTube are older men and younger women. Yeah. Yeah. And so that's kind of the standard. Like that's kind of like that's okay for society. Yeah. You know, but you don't see um, very many channels with um an older woman and a younger man although i do think that there are some there because i've seen some of you guys comment and say like i'm older than my husband mm -hmm. so but we don't really see a lot of those channels and we kind of wanted to set the bar or set the tone for that and really change like the perspective around that you know because it's kind of it's kind of taboo in society like when you see an older woman and younger man it's kind of like nah you shouldn't be doing that you know what i mean for real i'm like what's what's wrong with that though? yeah so we kind of wanted to use our channel to set a positive vibe a positive tone and really kind of just like change a perspective or narrative around um age gap relationships particularly when it comes to an older woman and younger man you know so never mind how stella got a groove back because stella got a groove and she's still grooving <laughs> So those are the reasons why we want to start a YouTube channel, guys. Yep. Okay, so the next question is, um, where was I? 
What's your favorite body part on me? What's your favorite body part on me? Them you lips. You go first. Them lips. Really? Yeah, you ain't see they juicy. Mm, okay, baby. Like, they so juicy, I could just kiss them right now. Give me some sugar. Mm. <laughs> oh, my God. Mm. Mm. Okay. And that booty. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. That booty. I always tell you all the time, like, I love your booty. For real, you always say that. Yeah, it's so round. Like, really? <laughs> yes, I always tell you, like, I just love your booty. Okay, okay. <laughs> all right, so what's your, for real, like, what's your favorite body part on me? Your lips, baby. Okay. So both of us My lips. have the same thing in common. Mine juicy, too. Yeah, baby, they mm, are. You're so juicy. They're so awesome, baby. Oh, my God. <laughs> Next question. Okay. <laughs> okay. You ready for this one? Mm -hmm. I need a drink on this one. <laughs> this is the big question everybody wants to know. What is our age gap? What is our age gap, baby? What is our age gap, baby? What is our age gap, baby? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to so, let you tell it. Well, we're going to save that for another time. We're going to save it for another time? Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. We definitely going to save that for another time. Well. What do you think? I don't know that I'm ready to reveal our age gap. Because. Not that it's a secret or anything. Or like I'm ashamed or anything like that. Because people mm -hmm. who are close to us know what our age gap is. Yes. But I just kind of feel like. I don't know if I'm ready to put it out there. Because. Once you put it out there, like, you can't take it back. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I've seen some other people kind of, like, put theirs out there, and then they come back and say, like, they wish they hadn't said it, you know? And, yes. I mean, it's, hell, you got age gaps out there that are bigger than ours, you know what I mean? Yes. So, it's nothing like like a big secret or anything. I just feel like once you put it out there, you can't take it back. And I don't really want people to focus on the age. You know what I mean? But when the time is right, we will definitely yeah. let them know, baby. Yeah, I don't want people to focus on the age. I want people to see um, us. Like, mm -hmm. we're here to share our Jamaican journey of life and love. Yeah, baby. And so that's what I want people to see. I don't want people to see us and say, oh, they have a blank year age gap. Because that's not what I want us to be known for. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I want people to just see us and see the love and see how we work hard, see how we love hard, see how we love, you know, life. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And how we play harder. You know what I mean? So I don't really, I don't know that I'm ready to put it out there yet because I don't want people to get caught up in their age gap is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so not quite ready to put the age gap out there yet. Because people are already going to judge you whether you do or you don't. But I don't want you guys to focus on their age gap is. I want you to just see us and we want to change the perspective or narrative around age gap relationships. Um, particularly um, between an older woman and younger man. Mm -hmm. That's good? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, baby. All right. Next question. So we got that out the way. Let's move we on. We definitely did. Okay. <laughs> Woo. Woo. Okay. So, oh, I don't know if I'm ready for this one either because this is the other big question. Okay, baby. I'm going to save that one for a little bit later. The next question is, um, who said I love you first? I think it was me said I love you first because remember it was me first trying to get to you. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. It wasn't you trying to chase me down. It was no, me it trying that. to chase you down. So I could. It was re definitely you. Okay, so I'm gonna re-record the tape, and I think it was me. You know what I mean? And when you said I love you, what did I say? 
Because I know I ain't say I, I love you back. No, baby. You was holding out. You was trying to hold out, baby. I was like, boy, bye. Okay. You love me. Boy, bye. If you think you coming up to America, you better think again. Well, look where I'm at now. <laughs> For real. Yeah. <laughs> So you said it first though. Yeah. And then I kind of followed. Most definitely, yeah, yeah. Behind. I probably was in denial at first though, because I was like, ain't no damn way. Ain't no way. <laughs> so yeah. You yeah. said it first and then yeah. I came behind you. Yeah, but I didn't to, say it, it right then. Me. No, it have to me yeah, it'd have to be me who said it first. Yeah. 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 You said it first. And then I probably came back like I don't remember like how long afterward, but you know, maybe not even a month or so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, the next one is, so are you, um, because you got married at a young age. Yes, so I are did. you afraid that you're going to miss out on something? Like people assume that young men, like, well, when we got married, you were younger, mm -hmm. you know, that you want to party, you want to drink, you want to hang out and that kind of thing. So are you afraid that you're going to like miss out on something being that you got married at a younger age? No, baby, because I already got married, married, I mean, and we've been married for a couple of years now and it just feel normal to me. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm not as scared that I'm going to miss out on anything. Like I don't really party. Yeah. I don't really like hang out like that, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? So mm -hmm. And you never really did. Yeah, it's just normal to me, you know what I mean? Did you ever hang out like that? Like even before like cuz when I met you um you weren't really like a party person. Like I can even remember times where you would be like somebody's keeping a party, you were going to go, and then I would be like the next day, did you go to the party? No, and you I say no, I fell asleep. asleep. Yeah. Yeah, so did you ever party like that? Like, even when you were younger, like maybe before you met me? No, I'm not really a party type like that. Yeah. I will party, you know, but mm -hmm. not like... Okay. Yeah, not okay. like all the time, like, you know? Okay. Yeah. So then I guess the next one is like, for me, um, am I afraid that you're going to miss out on something? And I would say not really, because... You're going to do whatever you're going to do. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And if you want to leave, like, I mean, I hate to say it like this, but you can leave. You know what I'm saying? There's the door. Like, nobody's stopping you. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not really, like, afraid that you're going to um, miss out on anything. Like, if, you, if we ever got to a point where you felt like you or missing out on something by, you know, being married younger, like, there's the door. You know what I'm saying? Like, not that I want you to leave, but I can't stop you if you wanted to. So you're saying if I want to leave, I should leave? I mean, you're going to leave with two broken legs, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> that was funny, though. I'm just kidding. <laughs> That was so funny, guys. Said I'm gonna leave with two broken legs. I'm just kidding, <laughs> but for real. She said she don't care if you wanna <laughs> leave. Now you're gonna leave with two broken legs. Is that it? <laughs> That's what I said. Did you say you would punch me the other day? <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, but for real. No, but for real, for real. Okay. I'm just saying, like, if a person wants to do something, they're gonna do it, and you can't stop them. So why am I going to? worry about that like you knew what you were getting into when you got married at a young age because mm -hmm. we even talked about that like you ready to get married you know mm -hmm. and I knew what you were getting into and what I was getting into marrying somebody that was younger so yeah. I just feel like what's going to happen is going to happen and you can't stop it like that's just the circle of life you know most definitely you know what I mean baby because most people when I was marrying you know, and you, like, I'm so younger and you're a older lady that I am. Most people, they even surprised that we still together. Mm -hmm. Maybe they thought I was doing it for business or I was doing it to right. just get into the States. You know what I mean? Right. So it's still a shock to a lot of people. Right. Up so that today, really... you know what I mean? A lot of people thought it yeah. was just for me to get over. 
So that's actually like one of the questions. Somebody even asked in the comments, like, why do Jamaicans like always ask for money? And then somebody else asked um, in my um, DM on Instagram, um, what was it? Like, what advice do you have for, um, like, say, like, somebody in Jamaica looking to marry, like, somebody older, you know? Not looking to marry, but I'm saying if, they're, if they've met somebody older because, you know, from how Stella got her groove back, like, mm -hmm. that's kind of like the picture that people see of Jamaica. Mm -hmm. That, you know, older women go down to Jamaica, you know, and meet these younger guys. And so what advice do you have for somebody who maybe is in Jamaica, maybe is younger, and maybe bumps into somebody that's older? What advice do you have? So basically, the advice that I have is to just um, just be yourself, you know what I mean? And um, take care of that person, you know what I mean? Like, treat that person good, you know what I mean? Play your part, you know what I mean? Just be true, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I would say that's the advice that I have for somebody that looking to marry a older lady. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just don't just don't play games, you know what I mean? Just don't do it like mm -hmm. because most Jamaicans maybe they do it a older man married a younger man I mean married a older lady just to come over and come to the States, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? But I meet my wife, my wife of a good heart, you know what I mean? My wife is a good person. So, damn, I just take care of her, you know what I mean? And yeah. let it work, you know what I mean? So, I'm, so I would just say, just don't play, just don't play no games, you know what I mean? Just be yourself and take care of that lady and let it work, man. Even kind of like... Tell them like some of the things like what Joan said, like what your mom said to you. And hopefully, you know, they have a mom like Joan. So even my mom told me like, ladies have feelings, you know what I mean? And don't just marry to go to America. Like don't mess with nobody's heart, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because I'm just saying, you see what my wife said, if I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave with two <laughs> broken legs, so. I'm just, I'm just saying, saying you know, maybe you could marry is a... maybe you could marry somebody and you leave with just and you try to mess with them and then you're gonna leave with worse than two broken <laughs> legs. <laughs> so I was just joking. So baby. I would advise you guys. I'm gonna let you walk just, out and then um, I'm gonna get you on the back of the head. Okay. <laughs> so I'm a, so I would just advise you guys to just do right, just do right just do by right your by spouse. It. You know what I mean. Like, and once you do right by the lady, it will definitely work. Yes, you know what I mean? that's what I was going to say. If you yeah. have pure intentions, then you can't go wrong. And, yeah. you know, it's going to work. Yeah. So, all right. Where were we? <clears throat> oh, um, how do we handle a long distance relationship? Because, you know, when we first met, you weren't able to come up here and visit me. So how do we handle a long distance relationship? So basically, how do I handle a long distance relationship? Like me and my wife would talk like every night and every morning before I even head to work. And when I get off work, you know, and my wife would come and visit me like every month. You know what I mean? Yeah. So every month. Because back then, tickets to Jamaica were cheap. Yeah. So for me, and I know how to like, kind of like relax and wait, ho like hold out till I see my wife, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But basically I talk to my wife like every day, you know what I mean? And every night mm -hmm. and my wife would be there almost every month, you know what I mean? So yeah. it, w it was, it was kind of normal for me. I let it work. I definitely let it work. You know what I mean? So yeah. did you So that, I mean, that then? was it. Like we talked all the time on the phone. We would talk like morning and night. Mm -hmm. um, before you went to work. Well, before I went to work as well, you know, yeah. then at the end of the night before we go to bed, you would call and be like, I just called to let you hear my voice. Yeah, that was the you what's for dinner, what's mm -hmm. for breakfast, and what's for lunch, baby. <laughs> and tell you I wish I was there to cook you something good. Yeah. yeah. So pretty much that was it. And then we would like message each other, 
you know, all throughout the day and voice notes. You would send mm -hmm. me videos, you know, of whatever you're doing and mm -hmm. vice versa, you know. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, like he said, I was pretty much going down every month mm -hmm. um, because back then tickets to Jamaica were cheap. So it was nothing to book a flight, you know, a month in advance and say, hey, I'm coming down to Jamaica. So, so that wasn't all that bad, mm -mm. you know what it I mean? Wasn't. But a lot of people... They see their spouse like um like one time, then it been like like five, four months after. Yeah, that you know one. What I mean, that, yeah, that, that would be like me. yeah, that yeah. would be like very, that would be more hectic. But as I said, I see you every month. It just mm -hmm. like I mean because plus like you got to get to know somebody, yeah. and the only way you can really get to know them is to be around them because people can say anything on the phone. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I was like, I need to go down here and like see what I want, like what's really going on. Yeah, I'm what's on. up, you know? So yeah, I wanted to see how you were living, and you know what I mean. Yeah, I'm on. So that's how we made it work. Okay. Okay, baby. All right. So, do we really think it's gonna last? Okay. I got that a lot, like in the beginning. Because I guess people thought I was going through a midlife crisis. Really? Mm hmm I probably was. I don't know. They thought you was kind of like... Yeah. Hey. <laughs> so do you really think it's going to last? Yeah. Why it ain't going to last unless you go through the door? That's all it ain't going to last. With two I'm just saying. <laughs> no, I mean... I think it's like... Yeah, like today... How I feel, I think it's going to last. Okay. Like, I love you. Okay, baby. You know what? I, you're supposed to say I love you, too. You know that I love you, too. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You weren't really supposed to say it just because I say it. Man. If it ain't from your heart. Okay. <laughs> really? I'm no, but for real. From my heart. Though. Oh, my God. No, but for real. I'm just saying, like, yeah, I think it's going to last. I mean, you just, you never know. So, I really don't even think about is it going to last? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because you just never know. Like, what's going to be is going to be. So why worry about that? And like my philosophy, my philosophy, like really in life is like, I'm right where I'm supposed to be in my journey of life. So things happen the way they're supposed to and when they're supposed to. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I don't really know like anybody that enters into a marriage and don't and don't expect for it to last, last. You, you know, know what i mean really, yeah real. i mean that's like anything else like if you meet a friend you don't look at that friend and well, say we've been together going going on eight years now we married going no, on baby. eight years now we married well, almost seven years almost seven years <laughs> yes oh my god Mm-hmm. but if you want to say eight Maybe you met me, you know, in spirit a year before. <laughs> yeah, but like for real, like, I mean, that's just like if you meet a friend, like somebody that you connect with. Yeah, you don't meet that person and then ask yourself, like, do I think this friendship is going to last? Mm -hmm. You don't go into like a job and say, do I think this job is going to last? You'd be like, Shh, I got a good job. Yeah, you know this kind of <laughs> Yeah. And maybe if something happened down the down the road, you know what I mean? But in your Whatever in, happens, happens. Yeah, you know what I mean? But yeah. is but the the thing is we have best intentions, you know. Mm -hmm. We don't plan for nothing to happen. Right. But that is it. I mean? That is it. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, I think it's gonna last. I mean Me too, baby. All right. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <clears throat> So, the last question. Ooh, I think I need another drink. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, baby, my drink is finished. I need to finish this one. The last question is, and this one is kind of serious. Let me get a sip of your drink, too, baby. Okay. Have a sip, baby. Don't put no backwash down in it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. The last I guess question. The pastor say for better or for worse, right? Whatever. Bang. <laughs> But what is the last one? Okay. The last one is, do we plan to have kids? Yes, we plan. Do you plan? 
I did plan to have kids, yes. Then what happened why you don't plan anymore? No, I didn't say I don't plan anymore. Okay. I'm just saying like, I mean like, this topic is really kind of touchy for me. Like, you know that, you know what I mean? It's touchy. So what do you plan to do? Well, um, okay. <laughs> so, um, this is a touchy topic for me, like, because I think it's insensitive when people say, when do you plan to give your husband a kid? When your wife going to give you a kid? You know, mm -hmm. and um, like we did or do plan to have kids, but I don't know if it's going to happen. You know what I mean? Because I am older and we have tried to have children and we have not had any children yet. So um, what do you want to say? It will happen one day. Yeah, I mean, like, I feel like things happen the way they're supposed to and when they're supposed to. And, um, like, I don't really want to put, like, all of my business out there, but we have tried to have children. And um, all I'm going to say is don't, like, it's rude to say to somebody, like, when you're going to have kids. That's like saying, like, um, when you guys going to get married? Or whatever, you know what I mean? Like, just asking people questions. But um, I just think that's kind of, like, rude because people don't really know, like, what we have gone through. You know, I'll say that. So we have tried to have um, kids, and <clears throat> I don't really, like, know how much I should put out. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we have tried to have children, and... I've had a couple of miscarriages. So I'll just say that. And um, so hopefully, you know, I mean, Kimar is a young guy. And if I cannot give him one, I mean, I still want you to have a kid. We just have to figure out how we're going to make that work for us. That's what I'll say. Most definitely, baby. Okay. All right. <laughs> Thank you, babe. So just wipe your face. It will be okay, baby. Mm -hmm. You just need a little break. Yeah, I think so. Um, so um, that's our video for today. Those are our questions that um, we, those are kind of like a lot of questions that some people have been asking repeatedly. So we wanted to kind of address those questions. Mm -hmm. And uh, we hope you like the video. Thank you again for getting us to 1,000 subscribers. Woohoo! So don't forget to like, drop a comment, share, and subscribe. Subscribe. Peace out, subscribe. guys. Subscribe. Peace out, guys. Peace out. Mwah. Okay. I'm just sipping on a little wine. We kings and queens up in here, baby. You see my cup empty, baby, and you ain't sharing, but we kings and queens mm -hmm. up in here. Throw me some, baby. You gonna share it? Okay. <laughs> well, my favorite body part on my wife is her boobs and your vagina. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, why are you doing Like, this? really? Yeah. I'm just oh saying my, my favorite body part and you. So you sprung? What do you mean by I'm sprung? Are you sprung? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> I'm sprung. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I cannot believe you said that. Like, are I you just, serious? I just did, baby. For I real, for it. real. Like, what's your favorite body part on me? I said it, baby. Why you want to change my mind? Oh, my God. That's embarrassing. <laughs> that ain't no embarrassing. <laughs> Really? 
Is it good? <laughs> okay. Okay. You sipping wine out of a straw? Yeah, and my wine is about to finish. You should give me some of yours. I ain't. On mine. I ain't. Okay. Let's go. Like, really? Oh What's God. up, Wagwan? Big up, big up. We here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The camera is rolling, baby. Okay. You ready? You gonna keep punching that ice? Because you know I Okay. <laughs> so, welcome back to our channel. Uh, that didn't come out right. You ready? Mm hmm Ooh. Damn. Huh. <laughs> you ready? Yes, yo. <laughs> you know that's going in the video, right? Oh, okay. Okay. 